Back pain sucks, but I am here to remind you that you are never stuck. As someone who dealt with chronic lower back pain for over 15 years, I am here to tell you that there are things that you can do today to start to relieve that lower back tension and begin to ease your pain and discomfort. Hi, I'm Jesse, holistic fitness trainer and yoga teacher, here to share tools that allow you to take your health into your own hands. Today, I'm sharing a quick beginner-friendly core workout that uses gentle yet effective exercises to help relieve lower back pain. Before we jump into our workout, I also want to remind you that your nervous system controls everything. And learning how to better manage your nervous system, that is balancing the parasympathetic and the sympathetic response of the nervous system, is extremely helpful for reducing your experience of pain and discomfort in your body. If you're looking for more ways to balance and regulate your nervous system, in the description, I've added a link to a free guide. So make sure you check that out after our workout. And if you find this video helpful, please help me by liking and maybe subscribing to my channel for more mind, body, soul fitness tips. For today's workout, all you need is a mat or somewhere to lie down and a pillow, or that could be a folded blanket. Now, if lying on the ground just does not feel comfortable for your body, you can totally do this workout lying in a bed if that feels better. You might also want to grab one more additional pillow because for one of our exercises, this will be really helpful too, to have both. So take a moment to arrange your space, gather your supplies, and let's jump into the workout. This workout begins lying on our back. So grab a pillow, lie down on your back. We'll begin in 10 seconds. <clears throat> This is a circuit style workout. Each exercise we're gonna do for 40 seconds. First exercise, we're just breathing. Big inhale into the sides and back of the ribs. Exhale through an imaginary straw as you feel your core muscles engage. Make a little sound with that exhale. It's really helpful when you make a sound. Do it again, big inhale, abdomen and ribs expand. Exhale, core muscles draw in. Now please make sure you are in a neutral position, which means there's a natural space between your lower back and the ground. Your pelvis is neutral. You're not curling the tailbone up or overarching the back. One more big breath. Exhale, core muscles draw in. Beautiful. Second exercise, pelvic tilts. So same position, we're gonna take a big inhale. But this time, as we exhale, I want you to stamp your lower back into the ground. You'll notice your pelvis moves a little bit, and that's perfectly fine. Inhale, let's go back into neutral. So we're gonna make that little space, that natural arch in the lower back. Exhale through an imaginary straw. Core muscles draw in, and you're feeling that lower back stamping into the ground. Inhale back to neutral. Make sure your shoulders and your jaw stay as relaxed. Exhale, core muscles drawing in. Make sure you're not using your glutes or your legs. Keep those relaxed. Inhale back to neutral. And last time, exhale, we're gonna feel the core muscles draw in. And we're going right into our exercise three. We're gonna lift the right leg up into tabletop. Now keep the pelvis stable. Put that right leg down. Inhale back into neutral. Exhale, feel your core muscles hug in first, stamping lower back, opposite leg lifts up into tabletop. Inhale, put it down. So these are our alternating leg lifts. Exhale, core draws in, you lift a leg. Keeping the pelvis stable, keeping the core muscles hugging in. Inhale, you put it down. Exhale, core draws in, and you lift the opposite leg. Nice, go ahead and put that leg down. And we're gonna roll over to our side for our fourth exercise, which is our obliques. You can put a pillow in between your thighs, making sure you got a pillow under your head. <clears throat> Inhale, let your bottom waist collapse towards the floor. Exhale, we're gonna draw that oblique in. So on the bottom side, and we're trying to create a little space between the waist and the mat. Inhale, we let it collapse. Exhale, and this one, this exercise will be most easily felt really through the bottom rib because that's the most mobile part. Inhale, we let it collapse. Exhale, we're gonna shh. Remember, make a little sound with that exhale. It's so helpful. The lower waist lifts. Let's do one more. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, we draw it in. Shh. 
Okay, we're gonna do the other side. So you can just flip around or, you know, however you wanna do it. Other side, find your support, get ready. Three, two, and one. Inhale, bottom waist collapses. Exhale, we draw it in. Remember, we're also trying to keep going. We're also trying to retrain how our brain communicates with our core. So we wanna feel the drawing in and that's what facilitates the movement, not the other way around. I'm not trying to force anything and it's okay if the movement is very, very subtle. That is totally fine. Exhale, we draw it in. Think about your pelvic floor muscles drawing in a little bit too. That's also gonna help. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna do that whole thing again. So please lie on your back, <clears throat> on your back. Find your neutral, maybe hands on the pelvis, little space between the lower back and the floor. Inhale here, active exhale, make a sound. I like to close my eyes when I do this so that I can just really focus. Back of the ribs on the mat, inhale. Active exhale, feel the drawing in. It is happening from the inside. We're not trying to go from the outside in, it's really from the inside out. You might even, as you exhale, lift your pelvic floor muscles a little bit. That helps activate those deep, it is part of the deep core. Nice, go ahead and release. Exercise two, we're going into pelvic tilts. Inhale, we're in this neutral, there's a little space. Exhale, we stamp the lower back down, we feel the pelvis move a little bit, but we make sure our butt cheeks are relaxed. Inhale, we go back into neutral. And you can bring your hands to your body, that's really helpful. Exhale, we find that imprint. Inhale, back into neutral. Relax your jaw, relax your face. Active type of exhale. We're gonna draw it in. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, we release. Exhale, we draw it in. Now we're gonna go right into our third exercise, alternating leg lifts. If you feel comfortable maintaining your imprint here, you can maintain imprint and lift a leg. Inhale, you put it down. We wanna breathe into the back and sides of the ribs if we're gonna try to keep the tummy tight the whole time. Exhale, you lift the other leg. <sighs> Inhale, you bring it down, making sure your abs aren't doming out, they're not pushing out, they're drawing in. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale, you put it down, making sure your hips are stable, they're not wobbly. We're trying to create core stability here. So we really gotta stabilize the lumbo-pelvic region, which is lower back pelvis area. So we don't want those hips to move. One more time. Exhale, lift. And then you bring it down. All right, moving on to our oblique lifts. Setting up for that. I know we're moving pretty fast, but do the best you can to follow along. Inhale, we let the rib cage, the bottom waistline collapse towards the floor. Exhale, we feel that bottom waist lifting up and in. And doing that again, inhale. And you're gonna feel your ribs moving a lot. And that's the point here because those obliques, they attach up into this rib here. So feeling that rib touch the floor and then feeling it lift. Let's do one more of those. Let's hold this next one. Exhale, draw it in and lift. Nice, keep it lifted. Breathe into the sides of the ribs. Exhale, draw it up a little more. Lift those pelvic floor muscles, remember, pelvic floor muscles are part of the deep core and then release all right we're gonna do the other side last exercise so spinning yourself around flipping around whatever you need to do bottom waist kind of collapsing towards the floor exhale you draw it up and in and remember this might be really subtle right you might not feel a whole lot you might need to use your hand, touching those muscles, maybe closing your eyes helps. <sighs> Active exhales. This workout is about getting our brains to communicate with our core stability. <sighs> okay, last one, we're gonna hold it. Exhale, draw it in. <sighs> hold it, hold it, relax the shoulders, relax the legs, keep that lower waist lifted. You might even poke it. 
Sometimes touching that part of your body helps your brain to engage with those muscles a little more. Three, two, one, and then release. Whew. Take a big breath. <sighs> now, if you found that workout helpful and you feel like you need a little bit more, feel free to rewind this video and repeat it again. These exercises are a gentle yet effective way to get our brain to communicate with our core. So you can repeat them every day. You can repeat them as many times as you want. Just remember, feeling the core drawing in before you move is really the priority. Thank you so much for joining me for this core stability workout. Remember, your breath is your number one tool when it comes to connecting to your core strength. If you'd like to learn more about how to turn these core muscles on and how to really stabilize your trunk, check out my program, Breath Core. It's a step-by-step -step guide that can be completed in as little as two weeks that is all about engaging with the core muscles through the amazing magic that is your breath. And if you found this workout helpful, please make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more mind, body, soul, fitness tips.